<laughs> you know what I say? Good riddance to uh, bad rubbish. If you haven't already heard, Alexander Boris de Fevel Johnson, the blonde Boris Mouton variant, well, he has resigned as MP for Uxbridge and Ryslip. Well, that's going to trigger two by-elections. When the Dean Dorries, she decided that she was, well, wasn't going to try and trigger a by-election yesterday morning, then decided in the afternoon that she would. Yeah, in Bedfordshire. So, the Dean Dorries has resigned because, well, she wasn't very happy that she's been removed from Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson's uh, honours list. Yeah, she wanted her peerage, you see. And in retaliation, she said, bugger you, I'm off. So that's free by elections. No, yeah. In some ways, that might be a blessing in disguise for old Richie Sunak, since the two by elections in Ryslip and Uxbridge could have, well, could have been drawn out. Because Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson, he resigned because he said it was a hatchet job. You know, the party gate investigations. Yeah, well, the report is due out on Monday. And Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson's done a runner. Yes, where is he? Where is he? Is he in the UK? <laughs> no! Is he in Europe at all? No! Where is he? Oh, he's in Africa. That's where he is. To avoid the Grim Reaper. Well, he says it's a hatchet job. Well, I've got a side from my hand. Because I'm going to cut some of this grass around the bottoms of all these trees. Yeah, we're doing a rewilding here in France. Which you can be a part of if you like. There's a link down below in the description. Go find me a link where you can buy a tree. And I'll put a tree in the ground on your behalf. Yeah, lots of trees so far. But there's all grass growing under, but, but, um, but beneath them. And I, you know, I expose all the nice little signs I've been making, you see. Because what we're doing is we're putting a sign with a tree with your name on, or maybe in memory of a loved one. Well, Alexander, Boris de Fethel Johnson. <laughs> I can't help but the giggle. I really can't. Oh my God, what a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I know. Let's just. Uh, I'm in glee. That's what it is. I'm in glee. But we all knew this, yeah. But also, did Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson, the writing was on the wall. It really was. Or did he? Did he think he was a moon? Do he actually believe that he's not guilty? Does he honestly believe he behaved in, well in the interests of the British people? You know, when you make statements like. Bodies, little bodies pile high during the pandemic. A man who couldn't be bothered to turn up to any of the Cobra meetings, the emergency meetings, no! He gives diddly squat about the people. The only person he cares about is, uh, well, Boris Johnson. I don't think he even gives a diddly squat for his own kids. That man, oh, he's an evil piece of work. And he should be locked up alongside, maybe in the same cell, I know it's a different country as Donald Trump, who's just been indicted. 37 felonies. If he doesn't bloody well end up in flipping jail, in a cell picking up the soap or something, in the showers, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's something seriously wrong with, uh, well, the legal system in the US, if that's, because what he's been doing, those thousands of flipping bits of paper Secret documents in Mar-a-Lago, in his estate in Mar-a-Lago. Secret documents exposing security details from countries around the world, including the United Kingdom. Oh my God, these people. They are unbelievable. But you know what's been happening? Yeah, people have been coming out of the woodwork, they have. Right, yeah, but they have. Come back here, you. <laughs> I just clicked it off, there you go. Well, yeah, we've got, uh, well, Chris Bryan, he was saying that Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson was a coward. <laughs> yes, because he's not here. Well, I'm in France, but he's not in the UK, no. So, uh, <laughs> but what is his resignation there? Have you seen it? Oh, my God, it's like, oh, well, it's about a thousand words it is. It says, oh, I'm so hard done by everybody. You have it in for me, they have. They didn't have, a, well, they had no evidence whatsoever. No, did they score evidence, apparently, but they did. Well, the Boris Johnson statement announcing that he would quit. Uh, well, the, the, the Commons. Uh, with more than a thousand odd words, yeah. And he says here in his statement, says, I received a letter. Mm. A letter from the Privileges Committee making it clear that much to my amazement, because I'm innocent, you see, yeah, that they are determined to use the proceedings against me. 
to drive me out of Parliament. It's like kangaroo court, he's saying. Yeah, it's literally what he said in his uh, resignation letter. Now, this is, quite frankly, is, yeah, it's just ignorance on his behalf. Narcissism. But does he actually believe that, really? He knows he's guilty. He's not that stupid. He's just trying to cover his flipping ass. Just like uh, Donald Trump, because it's all very Trumpian, you know, saying, oh, uh, well, no, I'm innocent, you know. I'm an innocent man. <laughs> Little hands and all that, you know. Oh, people, TV, woman. You know, the kind of thing that comes out of his trap. So, it's just these people are just trying to manipulate uh, public opinion. Whether it be uh, Alexander Bolsonaro, Johnson, or Donald Trump. Either way, they're, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get, well, get the sympathy vote from their following, the, the people that love them. Yeah, there's, they're, they're still out there, you know. <laughs> Some of us do have them, you could say. And he says, uh, oh, they know perfectly well that when I spoke in the comments, I was saying what I believed sincerely to be true. <laughs> this is Boris Johnson. <laughs> oh, look at that tree. Well, yeah, and uh, they know that I corrected the record as soon as possible. And they know that I and every other senior official and minister, including the current Prime Minister, and then occupant of the same building he was here, because he was Chancellor Exchequer, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were all working lawfully together, we were, yeah, having wine and cheese. Yeah, lovely. Oh, but what about party gates, as in curry gates, so my giddy aunt Keir Starmer? Well, that was definitely a case, though. There was diddly squat evidence there. Nothing happened there, did it? No. Well, Keir Starmer, he also came out of the woodwork. He had something to say as well, didn't he? He said, oh, that Boris Johnson wasn't acting with integrity. Didn't have the people's uh, interests at heart. That's because he doesn't give a damn about them. The only person that Boris Johnson cares about is himself. Chris Bryan, the chair of the Standards Committee, said that Johnson had left the Commons in disgrace. You could say that, yeah. And... Uh, after realising that uh, it was a set, realising that he was set to be suspended due to the party gate findings. Let's get that bit down here. Yeah, sun's come out. It's feeling bright now. Probably a big shadow in my head. Yeah. Um. And and Will Walden, the former spokesperson, spokesman for Johnson, he used to be, I think, one of his uh, advisors at one point. He was saying that Boris Johnson was, he wasn't like this before. But now he's gone all a little bit, had to put it defensive and angry and bitter. Oh, poor little old Boris. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was Labour's top team at Keir Starmer's. And, well, now, Angela Rayner. Well, she accused Johnson of treating the British public with contempt. You don't say. And then we've got the uh, Dem leader, Ed Davey. Meanwhile, well, has ruled out any form of election pact with Labour. Ahead of by-elections resulting from the resignations of Johnson and Dean Dorries. Yeah, they think they've got a standard chance. They probably do, actually. Yeah, possible. Possible. Well, I think the whole thing's gone... Uh, well, Christopher Hope, I think he's... Uh, I think he writes something for uh, Telegraph, or the Tory Graph, the Daily Tory Graph, yeah. And he says, uh, oh, Boris Johnson's not even in the country. No, he's in Africa. Yeah. And, uh, well... Yeah, and Starmer says uh, Johnson treated the, uh, the British people. Yeah. Alexander Boris the Fifth Johnson believed himself to be above the law. He treated the British public with contempt. Party and while the nation grieved... And well, uh, Matt Hancock was sending all the old people with COVID into the nursing homes. Lovely, that's another investigation afoot, that it is. So, these people ought to really go to jail, if you ask me. Log them up! Yeah, <laughs> alongside, uh, well, Donald Trump. Anyway, I'm going to poke my eye out, then I'm going to cut some, cut some grass. Yeah, then you poke my eye out. I need to find, oh, what's over there? Is that, oh, it's, it's a tree over here. Oh, there is. Yeah, that, that needs to trim some of this grass out like beneath this tree. I've always been doing I've been clearing some signs and stuff that are up there. You see little wooden things. Signs, yeah. You know, you can have a sign with a tree if you want. If you do, go find me down below and buy a tree. Yeah. And uh, we will plant a tree on your behalf. Yeah. Make a little donation. And uh, we'll put a tree in the ground on your behalf and we'll look after it and that as well. Yeah, with a sign. <laughs> as you do. Right here. Oh, there's a nutty video. There it is. Oh, look at this lovely, lo lovely uh, oh, shrimp plant here. There's a tree. Yeah, quite, quite a shrimp plant. Because got, uh, yeah, the little, they look like little shrimps. Yeah, little pink shrimps, apparently. So, uh, 
<laughs> oh my god, I don't know about you, but what a weekend. You tell me how you feel about Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson and his uh, resignation and the Dean Dorries uh, uh, resigning in retaliation because she's been removed from the honours list. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, it fills me with glee, it does. That it does. Oh, I just do love to be a a bit. I do apologise, uh, I did manage to get the video on a bit earlier, but I was having technical difficulties, just so I was in my live stream last night. Flipping audio, I was going to be low, that it was, I hope this is okay. Anyway, you tell me what you think, please leave it in the comments down below, and if you want to boot the old like button, and maybe subscribe to the channel, helps the channel, you know, yeah, and uh, maybe press the old little bell, notification icon because then you get one fuzzy thing in your pocket every time I upload another video with me with a hand scythe chopping off Alexander Boris de Feffel chop no maybe not no don't you know where he is apart from he's in Africa and that's a big continent that it is oh well well <laughs> and don't forget if you want to be part of our rewilding project here in France because the trees they go right down there right down into the dip into the distance and then we've got the other field over there we're planting, we're planting a thousand trees that's what we're aiming to do and we've got a load ready to go in, but the warm weather's getting a bit... The problem is watering, you see, through the summer season. And if we end up as hot as the year as we did last year, that is going to be a nightmare to keep it all wet. Yeah, that it is. Anyway, you tell me what you think. Please leave it in the comments down below, because I do actually read the comments. But you probably already know. <laughs> well, time for me to go, so ta-ta, you know. So ta-ta.